All right, I'm here in Danbury, Connecticut, and I got this text message from a person that says, just want me to look at the roof and see if it's okay. <coughs> this is a, a torch down roof. <coughs> Let me show you how do I know it's a torch down roof. First of all, every three feet is a, a seam. Every three feet is a seam. There's another three feet. And then you can see it's a torch down because you can see how this oozed out when they heated up and welded the seams. This is what oozed out. Now, when somebody did this, they overheated it. This is not the proper way to do it, but it's okay. But that was overheating it to melt the seams together. That's what happened here. Now, this roof has a coating over it. It looks like a I would think it is, uh, let's see, um, I don't know what it is, it looks like a silicon, some kind of silicon coating, which is good, it protected the roof. Um, here's one problem, so, see the problem here, so there's water pooling there, and then where this metal edging is joined, where the metal edging is. You see where the drip edge is? There's a joint here. See the joint? That's where this cracked open. All right? And right there you can see water coming from underneath the drip edge. Look, I squeeze at the top here and water is, I see, water's, water's coming out from the bottom there. So water's leaking in here. This is not good. <clears throat> this will rot this area. <sighs> right there. Another one. But you can see where the water pools there. That's the problem. Okay. Is this metal edging, the material is cracked away from... Oh, another one here. Okay. So the edging is a problem right now. See the edging here? It's, it's cracked open and it's pulling away. So that has to be fixed. Now I'm going to show you another problem on the roof, most roofs, chimneys. This one is not a really big problem, but this is the crown and there's a cement slab at the top here. But you can see somebody coated this uh, chimney I don't know, with some kind of silicone or whatever. And what they did was, because they sealed it, I think it's a geocell or what kind of conk, I don't know what it is. They trapped the water inside the bricks. Wherever there's a crack, water will come in. And then water cannot come out and it will spald like this. See the spalding? See the more spalding here? Because they're trapping the water behind this whatever sealant they have on here. It's not a good idea to seal an uh, entire chimney or the bricks and everything. It's not good. You can see how water gets trapped and then it will bust the, 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 the bricks apart. You need to fix the leaks instead by uh, caulking the, you see how it spalls here? Look here. Look here. See that? Spalding. Oh, no, this is nice. Yes, how can I help you? Hi, um, I'm calling because I'd like to get an estimate. Oh, please. okay. And where are you at? I can be there like 1 o'clock. Okay, that's perfect. So now you know what to look for on a roof, on a... On a Kelsey! <laughs> I'm on my way. The roof, the roof, um, in general, is in good shape. Um, that's the roof itself. The edging um, has cracked and it lets water in, especially at the bottom of the roof, and it could cause rot and that very edging. So that's what you really should be taking care of is uh, um, 
Seven. Nice gated community in Danbury. This is just to show you what it looks like in Connecticut, some areas. And um, how people live here. If you're in a different part, please subscribe to my uh, channel. I need your help. And I'm just starting to do this vlogging stuff. So I need a lot of help if you can just subscribe, even if you don't like it. Let me fill you in a little bit. I, um, I used to live in this area. This is Connecticut, and I'm in Western right now. I just came from Danbury. But I used to live here in Norwalk and Westport area. And I moved to Latrobe, Pennsylvania about 10 years ago, eight, nine years ago. Anyway, um, so this morning, I, I was too tired yesterday to drive from uh, Latrobe to Connecticut to come and work. So this morning early, six o'clock, I got in the car and I drove already six hours. This is six, almost seven hours. So I did an estimate and then I had a call while I was on another roof for another estimate in Westport. So that's where I'm going right now. But this is how my day, my day has been so far. I, I drove six hours, did an estimate, and now I'm going to do another estimate uh, in um, Westport. And it's, uh, you can see there it's 79 degrees. So um, that's nice. Now it's nice to make repairs and to work on roofs when it's not that hot. This is a wood shingle roof. Let me just turn this off because I first meet the people. Oh, I didn't put my shoes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right okay. My husband had to put things over it because we have to stop it. Right. You know? Right. And I think he put some kind of tape or something like on the scene. Okay. But I guess you know, I mean, it's over it's pretty important. We just need to to keep it. Right. Excessive. You know, we've got right. two boys who are putting through college. Yeah. Let me see what, uh, what, uh, what I can find. Yeah, yeah, see what you think. You know, we have Ethan Eats. Uh oh. Okay, so let me explain to you what I, what I get from this. Before I even go on the roof, this is a very wealthy area. Uh, the houses go here for about a million dollars. This is a million dollar house. You can see they already spent a lot of money on this house because there's a cedar, cedar roof with copper gutters. You can tell by her explaining that they just want to fix it. So see if they can, if something can be done so it doesn't cost. us. So it doesn't cause more damage. Oh, nice. Look at this. This is a torch down. Looks like a torch down or a... It's nice. That's what I like. I don't like EPDM. So this is a torch down roof. And there's your cedar, cedar roof. Very nice. New cedar roof. You can tell it's very, it's very new. But um, let's see what we can find here. So he put plywood to, to get the water off the roof. Plywood's heavy because it's got wet. Alright, All right, that's better. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Ah, there you go. There you go. Look at it. See the leak here? The flashing? The membrane is underneath the flashing. Okay. All right, let me, let me explain something. The torch down is a very, very good roof. You cannot beat it. But where people go wrong is flashing. And most of the times that's the issue on any roof, flashing. I'm gonna show you how this is wrong here. So get a general idea where the roof is. So. There's a roof. There's your cedar roof coming down. They have a fascia board underneath this thing, underneath the cedar. 
And then they have this flashing. You see the flashing here? And you can see the crack right open there. See, right there. There's a flashing open there. So water, you can see the water pooling here and goes right in there. As soon as it gets a little bit more water, it's gonna go right in there, right in there. Okay? So, how do I fix this? Let me explain to you how I fix this. I take a piece of membrane, this membrane, or uh, the polyurethane fleece, that's what I will do. And I will put a strip all the way, a strip of poly, poly fleece strip all over here from there to there to cover this flashing and that will stop the leak. Let me see if it comes in here. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Okay, I got the leak. Now I've got to tell her that and then we'll go from there. The roof is it's a, a torch down roof. Right. And it's fine. It's the way the flashing was done over the roof. And the flashing, what I need to do is correct that. Mm -hmm. And it's the whole length from where it starts at this gutter to the other side. Uh -huh. uh, I have to put a, a flashing a membrane because they, they, they have the flashing over the membrane and should be underneath the membrane. Right. And that's what went wrong. So now the flashing has lifted up and water gets underneath the flashing. No, because water pools in, the moment that the pool comes up a little bit mm -hmm. high, it goes right into the... Okay. No, don't worry about the pump pooling. The pooling water is okay. It's just okay. the flashing has to be fixed. Uh -huh. okay. And that should do the job. Okay. So... $600. Beautiful. When can you do it? I'll put it on schedule. I'll get it done this week. Fabulous. All righty. Send me an email. Just let me know when. Yeah. The trip from the Trobe to Connecticut already paid off. And, uh, but I gotta get more work. So, there you go. Let's see. Next, next estimate is later today at 5.30. I'll see you in a little bit. Um, so yesterday I did this estimate at Jocelyn's house. Um, so I came back today and I did it quickly after I did another job. So let me show you what I meant by putting a membrane over the flashing. Over the flashing. You can see it. So there you go. See it? And um, now that that's the right way to do it. Uh, way of fixing a leak because people don't know how to do flashing and that's the main problem of any roof anyway please subscribe I need your help even if you don't like it I'm gonna have a get a saying now this is a flat roof doctor I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I drove seven hours so far from uh, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, on the farm, and I'm a little bit hungry right now. So guess what? I am gonna treat myself to an Indian restaurant. Oh, chicken tiki masala. Oh, that's good.